whether the DOJ has run out of their quota or they haven't hit their quota or whatnot, but what the they're going they're going after individuals that were outside. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you know what, too? And I think I think um I'm not blaming it. Believe me, I'm not blaming this on our side. I just but I do have to say this. I think the left has heard a lot of the voices saying. They, but they just went inside. I mean, but but they just let him inside. They just let they, they I mean, the, the police let him inside. Really? Seriously? Okay, fine. They were on grounds that they weren't supposed to outside, and that's why we're going to go for him. That's this that's basically our. This is supposed to be representing us. That's and, and 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 right, and that's the first thing I thought. I was like, wait a minute, outside. I mean, people walk outside that thing out. Every day, are you saying that because they were counting or certifying that they weren't allowed outside the building, you're going to go after people that way? It's it's another scare tactic. It's another scare tactic. It, it's not a fact, scare tactic. They're going to put people in jail, Wayne. No, it's a scare tactic so that people don't fight back. Is what mm -hmm. I'm saying. That's a fact. Uh, happened inside of the building. An important note when it comes to our prosecutions about those who remained outside the building. We have used our prosecutorial discretion to primarily focus on those who entered the building or those who engaged in violent or corrupt conduct on Capitol grounds. But if a person knowingly entered the restricted area without authorization, they had already committed a federal crime. Wow. Make no mistake. After they took the no trespassing signs down. The area that they were not authorized to be present in in the uh, first place. Jesus, these freaking Nazis. Now, again... I didn't know outside the building. I mean, I don't remember ever seeing um, no trespassing signs outside the Capitol building. People walk outside that thing every day. So, I mean, for this, I'm like, okay, well, they heard the voices of our complaints. Well, you know, the people, you know, they let them inside. Okay, fine. We're expanding to outside now. Let me, let me, which is stupid in it. I guess that's the message I'm trying to say. This is stupid. It's outside. It's outside. But the, I, mean, I guess with the face facial recognition and stuff, they went down and got some people over the weekend mm -hmm. in Florida. But I guess these from from the from the reports, these people have been hiding out for the last three years or whatnot. They found them or in Texas, Florida, Texas or whatnot. Oh, somebody will rat on them. Probably. I, I'm telling you, I, I got to say something about this. I even have it written down in my one note that I have. Uh, <laughs> I, I experienced something over the weekend that just, uh, I couldn't believe it, man. I, I couldn't believe a lot of people in this country, including people in my own family. Mm -hmm. I saw, I saw my brother writing on Facebook with a bunch of other people that I, kn I knew a couple of them, but they were, they, they were saying that happy insurrection day. And then my brother chimes in, yeah, it's Juneteenth for white people. There's there's people out there right now that are A-OK -okay with what the government's doing to our side. I mean, I had this one guy uh, reply to my tweet saying about Ashley Babbitt. Yeah, she should have died. She's a traitor. And there should have been a pile more corpses that day. And I'm thinking, my God, man, have you ever have you studied what happened? I saw a transcript of that cop on the radio right after that happened. That guy ought to be in Gitmo. He lied over the radio saying they were shooting at him. I mean, he was the only one that fired a weapon. Gunshots, gunshots in the Capitol, gunshots, gunshots. Well, it's it's funny, I think. I think I take a more dire view of some of this than a lot of people when I see the time where we're at, in my opinion. Um what they did to the January 6th folks is horrific if you dig under the hood. Um, and now they're charging people that are going to be walking, that were on the grounds at the Capitol. That's horrific. You look, Joe Biden gave that speech oh on January God. 5th where he lied 25 times. He talked about all these police officers that were killed that didn't happen. He went to the funerals. Right. He went to the, yeah, he, he, Joe Biden actually said he went to the funerals of the police officers that were killed. This is the president of the United States. Nobody in the media called him out other than, you know, like people on Twitter, that kind of thing. 
I did the same thing. I, I just posted a picture of Ashley Babbitt and said, never forget Ashley Babbitt. I had probably 50 horrific comments it, it, and it was just people like that were very supportive of the fact that she's no longer living. Somebody I'm like, that's just it. awful. Somebody who stood up against the government. But that's why when we talked about the Biden thing with, you know, can we can't, we can't get rid of the constitution. No, we just need to get back to the constitution. Yeah. And if, if Ashley Babbitt we need to get back wing, if she was a left wing card carrying radical, she shouldn't right. have been shot like that by the government. Correct. Right. But, but I mean, that's, that's the point is if the new definition of the constitution says we can, this is how we treat political candidates, then the right's got to adapt to that new interpretation. Luckily, you're going to get it interpreted by the Supreme court here in the first week of February. But that's why some of these tactics we got in this place because conservatives were too nice. We were too understanding. We were too. We, we were fraud. Were too, well, right. And and they used the freedom of speech against us. And now that they've built up to that 51 percent or whatever percent you think they are, they're going to use every weapon against us. So if they want to call things, you know, misinformation and then that's how they delete channels and, and suppress voices. We just need to push back harder. And then it's time for the right to say, if this is the new rule, then we will enforce that rule. So if the left thinks they can remove Joe Biden or they can remove President Trump from a ballot for whatever reason, you know, for insurrection, then he should do the same. And that's why in until the right fights back, if we're just if we just continue to be passive, it's just going to continue to get worse for us. You know, you know we I can say, oh, stop it. But nobody's going to. You know, I used to say, I used to say the same thing that Jason did, and and I and I agree with him. I agree with him to a point because um, I used to say that we're too I, that our side was too nice. I would say it, but then when I start seeing how some things were going, I was like, I said, I said, I don't know how to fight. It's right. not that they're being nice; they they just don't know how to. To be, that's, that's the, the for lack of a better word, ruthless back against the other side. I mean, because there's no other, other side. side. There's huh? no other. There's side. no other side. Exactly right. These guys right. are playing their role, man. It's right. not that they can't fight. They can fight their asses off. Just look at what they did to Santos. Right. You know what I mean? It's that they won't fight. Right. You know, it's that, about Santos. <laughs> use somebody else then, Cawthorn. Anybody else? They do it all the time. They do yeah, it every yeah. year. Well, you, well they yeah, our, they're, they're, they're giving away our majority in the house. Yeah, Carthorne. Right. Yeah, and, and and like you said, another person left and stuff like that. And then Speaker Johnson going to leave. And I, I want to know Thor was leaving too, right? Yeah. Yep. I mean, what yeah. do you think? What punishment? What punishment should Speaker Mike Johnson get for failing to stop the invasion at the border? For sending another eight hundred and ninety billion dollars to the Defense Department? What punishment should he get? He's the number three ranking person in the United States freaking government. And he can't sit up there and hide behind that stuff. He's number three. Yeah, and that's that was kind of the, the lead of the show is over the weekend it came out that Schumer and Johnson and Hakeem Jeffries agreed on a $1.6 trillion. Why would you even take Hakeem Jeffries into the room? I swear. Right. right. They, these people. That Well, and we've been calling it, though, you know, I gave Speaker Johnson a chance. Hey, let's give him a shot. This deal proves he's a fraud. I mean, if any semblance of he's not a fraud. Tape. Or they got tape. Or, or they got tape. Maybe he was on the island. But if you look at the spending deal, um, you know, every step since we got the House majority, we're still spending at COVID levels of spending, essentially. And, we and put why in can't all we, these if, if we gave the, the military nine. Hundred billion dollars last right. year, the year before that, the year before that, the year. Can I get some receipts, please? <laughs> no. Can you tell me what the hell you bought? No. I know, right? I, I, again, I go back to the accountability. There's no accountability. There, no. There's no checks and balances. <laughs> and 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 if that's the case, because the Constitution calls for checks and balances, the Constitution calls for checks. If our government is not going to produce checks and balances. Then as our uh, as our job 
it's 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 our charge to dissolve this government and start again. That's something, how it's supposed to be. Something I'll tell you, you know, when, when, you know, you got a country running with no president. 